So Save America, Kill the Bill, two very important numbers came out today that I think virtually guarantees a pause in the big government socialist spending, taxing, and regulating bill that was proposed by President Biden. Virtually guarantees a pause. And a pause into next year. And a pause into next year gets us closer to killing the bill altogether. Now, the first number, a huge 0.8% jump in the CPI for November, leading to a 6.8% increase over the past year. The biggest gain in 39 years. And as Senator Joe Manchin has said many times, there's simply no point in going forward with a big social spending bill while inflation is so hot. I have backed him for the past six months on this inflationary point, and I still support him on this critique. And I think so does the Republican Party, as far as I can tell. Inflation is hot because we're spending too much, way too much money. In fact, Mr. Manchin's staff has calculated, listen to this, in constant dollars, not even including the Biden budget, over the past year, the federal government has spent roughly $5.4 trillion plus another $1.2 trillion on the infrastructure bill. That comes to $6.6 trillion. Now, get this. For all of World War II, even plus the Marshall Plan to rehabilitate Europe, we only spent $4.7 trillion. That's for the whole of World War II. This is real dollars, adjusted constant dollars. Now, spending today on social welfare programs without work for, without work fair, without means testing, without strict eligibility, vastly more than we spent for the entire World War II that literally saved freedom and democracy. There's something wrong with that, don't you think? Now, this $6 trillion number, which has been financed indirectly by massive Federal Reserve money creation, is the source of the near 7% inflation. Stop the spending. End QE bond purchases. End it. Get ready for some modest Fed rate hikes coming up. Not six months from now. Now. If the Fed acts now, then maybe in a year, inflation will begin to calm down. Maybe. Now, here's the second big number that I think will save America and kill the bill. The Congressional Budget Office has priced out the true cost of the Biden budget. The CBO took out the one-year or three-year phony sunset gimmicks and instituted permanent 10-year spending estimates. Why permanent? Well, because that's been on the left-wing progressive agenda for years. And as President Biden always says, this bill will be transformational. Transformational means permanent, if he ever got his way. So now the CBO scoring shows the bill will actually cost $4.9 trillion over 10 years, and it will increase deficits by $3 trillion and will increase interest on the debt by $266 billion. Now, that would bring the top-line costs to $5.1 trillion. In other words, the CBO just blew up the Biden budget fiction that it would only cost around $2 trillion and only increase deficits by $365 billion. Or the other fiction, that it's fully paid for, which it is not. So let me repeat, two big numbers today. The spike in the consumer price index and a spike in CBO scoring of Biden's woke budget. And I am predicting this is going to sink any vote this year. There'll be a pause until February of next year, which itself may spill over into next year's spring or summer, and that moves us toward next year's midterm elections. And poll after poll shows that inflation is public enemy number one, but massive federal spending is a close second. In fact, the two are really inseparable. And also, in fact, the public is sick of left-wing woke policies. And that is why I believe we're going to save America. And kill the bill. All right, this is a good day. That's my riff.